Hi, welcome to the C Sharp programming tutorial. The last tutorial was uh, multi dimensional arrays and we stopped halfway through because it was taking so long and this is a continuation of it. So as you can see on the screen we declared four arrays and two were single dimension and two were multi dimension. Now what we're going to do is access them um, assign we assigned values to multi dimension and we assigned values to single dimension array. And now we're going to do it the, the other way, there's two ways of doing it. And so we're going to access them individually and and give it a value and so here goes so what we'll do is number numbers yeah square brackets and we'll get three elements so we'll go to element number one which is the middle one zero one two and we'll go equals and we'll go equals not equals six Hit enter and so we've assigned a value to numbers element number two element number one but f the second value in the array and to do the same with the, the multi-dimensional one so to do the same with this one here numbers two we'll use its we, 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 we're using an aim to get access um, to this array and it's num2 we'll hold it and we'll do the square brackets and inside the square brackets we'll go 0 now 0 is the first element even though we've got 2 there, it's 1, 2 that's when you're, you're, you're creating the object but when you're accessing them, it starts at zero. And so that's where some people get confused. So zero. And then this, this two columns. And we want the first column, which is zero. And there's three rows. And we want to go to the second, the second row. So we'll go to number one and then we'll go equals and then we'll do a value seven. And that's us saying the value seven to column zero value the second value, value number one. And we're gonna we're gonna do the same thing. to the, the first element and the first column we're going to give it 17 and then the third element the third value in column 0 we're going to give it 77 and then to give a value column number two it's one and we'll go to the second value in column number two which is number one square brackets equals 100 oh, square brackets equals 100 we've got an extra square brackets okay so what we've done there is individually assigned values to two elements unlike this way here and so we can what we can do is we can do we print we can print it out let's see we'll go um, 
num2 and to, to print it out it's the same as assigning a value to it but with filter equals and the value and it will just print out the value that's already there so if we go to 77 it's 0 2 and then end the brackets semicolon um, do a console dot read read just to hold on to the DOS prompt the console and 77 is on the screen there now if we change if we change what element of the array we're looking at if we change this to number one column zero number one column zero low one is seven and so seven should appear yep and seven's appeared now if we go to row so this is column number one the second column and we gave a value 100 to row number one and so it should be 100 yeah. and so so that's that's how you assign the values what you can also do is you can also do a for loop Zero, one, zero, yep. And x is because what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to rip um, the we're going to rip the rows into three of them, so less than three. X equals x plus one. Brackets. Braces braces and what we can do is we can cut and paste this in here and so and then all we need to do is put x in here and zero there and it's going to print out the first column and each value for the first column is going to go into to, to the screen. It's going to go onto the screen. So here goes. Seventeen seven seventy seven in the multi-dimensional array. And you would have a for loop within a for loop. Um, X would be X would be for the the columns and and maybe y would be for the rows and you could root through every single element in the multi-dimensional display but we're not going to go into that just now and um, so so that's how that's how you would assign values to it but you could also use the for loop to assign to x what we're going to do is zero x and we're going to assign four equals four so we're going to add four to every single one of the the column column the first column column zero the, every single value in, in the rows of column zero it's going to have four. And that's I've, now what I've got to do is, is I've got to print it out to screen. I'm just going to do a different for it for it, and I'm going to do console console dot
So what I've done here, if the second, the row part, I've made x, and x is going to go zero, one, two, which is the three elements, and it's got each one's going to be printed out from row zero, and so I'm going to show you that happening. Four, four, four. That's what we put into it. So you can use a for it to assign values and to read values from an array. So that's us for multi-dimensional arrays at the moment. So, so again, thank you for your time, um, and I hope that's helped.